Hey friends, welcome to the Johnson City Living Podcast, where we learn about the people, places, events, and flavors that make Johnson City just a lovely place to live. I'm your host, Colin Johnson, with the Colin and Carly Group and Keller Williams Realty. If you're interested in buying or selling a home in the area, or if you're looking at investing in a rental property, give us a call at 423-930-8003, and we will look forward to helping you. Now, let's get to today's episode. It was an awesome Masters weekend just happened. Did you guys watch the Masters? Uh, I was watching maybe like last time Scotty was leading at that yeah. time. Did he win? Yeah, he won. Oh, Scotty wow. Scheffler won the Masters, so that was happening. But what's something else that's super cool is I'm hanging out with two guys who own Diablo Bar and Grill, Kartik Kumar and Vic Petrana. And Vic and I have been buddies for a little while. 50, 20, 20 years, 15, something 20 like years, that. Yeah. I don't know, something yeah. like that, a long time. And some guy named JD didn't show up. Like, I don't. What's his story? Yeah, it's uh, he didn't want to hang out with us. No, no, no. He he really wanted to come. It's just the last minute. JD, like, you're missing came out. out. We miss you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, here's the podcast question. You know it's coming because you guys listen to the podcast all the time, Vic. Johnson City Living. What do you love most about living in Johnson City? Oh, I love the mountains. The mountains. The mountains. Beautiful. Yeah. And plus, it's not that traffic on the on the highways. And on, on the roads as well, like, and everything is reachable. Right. It's not like crazy, like bigger town, and it just chilled out. Yeah. yeah. I love love living here. Vic. Oh man, I can. I have a list. I, I love, love it. Johnson Let's City. Go. I moved here from New Jersey, and and I moved here in 2005. Now it's the Garden State. They've the got Garden a lot State. of pretty stuff up yeah, there. Yeah, they call it Garden State, but there's the traffic. Oh yeah. Yeah. No good. No. Oof. Man, I, I love I love the mountains. I love the low traffic and yeah. affordable housing. You know, I do a lot of real estate because That's right. I just when I moved from Jersey, my single bedroom apartment rent was like eleven hundred. Wow. I move here and it's three fifty. I'm like, that's it, done. Drop the ball. You, I'm here. I'm yeah. here. I'm gonna live here. That's right. And and the people, I love the people. You get all kinds of weather. You get a little bit of snow. Yep. You it doesn't get too cold nope. like up north, and it doesn't nope. get too hot like Texas. <laughs> so, so I love it, man. I mean, I can go. Man, the, 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 I, I love hey, I, I think love Johnson Vic City. Liked, I think he's a fan of Johnson oh, City. Oh, oh well, I've been living here for twenty years. I've oh, been, I thought you guys were born and grew up here. Did you not? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Where'd you grow? Up? I mean, I'm, I'm, not brown, I'm not brown enough to come from a different country. <laughs> hey, we got a lot of tan folks around here working. At... <laughs> so where'd you grow up? So I grew up in the capital of India. I grew up in New Delhi, oh, and okay. uh, seven, almost six years ago, I moved in in Johnson City. And, and how did you choose from New Delhi, which is what seven thousand miles away, to yeah Johnson City? Yeah, it's 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 all just like you know we were. Uh, having a conversation, I was looking the uh, right path to just move on my career at, and uh, uh, I'm glad that I was on on the phone conversation with him, and uh, he told me to come to Atlanta because at that time uh, Atlanta, I think, it's the international airport, and it was a small uh, duration flight from my hometown. Yeah. And uh, when I went to Atlanta, he told me we have to drive like five more hours, and uh, I was like, okay. And then slowly, slowly, all the skyscrapers were going like invisible and it's just all land and everything. And when we came to Johnson City and uh, it was one of his uh, one of a kind restaurant. There was only Sahib Indian restaurant. Yeah. Uh, still, I think it's the only restaurant in Johnson City. And uh, he gave me an opportunity to manage that and uh, everything like uh, under his shadow. He, I'm, he's my mentor. I'm teaching from him every day. And I'm glad that uh, made uh, quite a bit so far, and uh, always grateful for him. That's oh, awesome. He's 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 worked hard for. Uh, he's, how he's, many people live in New Delhi? Oh, Ooh. it's more than more than probably like uh, maybe twenty million. Yeah, yeah, more than yeah, that, more, yeah. Than, more than, than that. More than Atlanta, New York, all together. Maybe. So, oh my God, yeah, the traffic <laughs> is crazy. Here. How did oh, yeah. you, out of twenty million people, how did you connect with Kartik? So Kartik is my cousin's nephew okay so he's kind of like my nephew I, I love him like a son and and you know he he gives me full respect and always there whenever 
I mean, if I need anything, like Kartik, hey, we need to go here. We need to get this. And he's gotcha. always, always there, always supportive oh. and, 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 and never say no. And we, he gets things done. He's hardworking, yeah. mo- self-motivated. Gotcha. And so I, I love him. I love him, man. I, I, I'm willing to do 10 more businesses with him. Oh, that's awesome. Now, in they, Johnson City. Where did you grow up? Where did you where were you born? I was born in North Punjab, about 6 hours from Himalayas. Okay. And like between Delhi and Himalayas. I'm like right Did you the see the Himalayas from your uh, No, no. Too far. <laughs> too far. Too but far. they're massive. 6 <laughs> older him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I came to New Jersey to my uncle and worked I got there. you. It's like an uncle connection. Uncle I'm connecting. How it's going. <laughs> I'm seeing how it's going. It's okay. just India is all about like the family. Like family, like everybody yeah. living together, like everybody know each other. It's 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 just like like you know living in a big neighborhood. Yeah. And now you've been here seven years? Seven been? years, yes. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And you've been here twenty? I moved here in ninety eight. Yeah. So, so whatever that uh, yeah, twenty six years. Yeah. Man. Oh, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's a good ride so far. <laughs> love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. You know, a lot of time people complain. Like when I see the local younger generation or yeah. today's generation, they're complaining about like, what? like how America is so bad. This why ba 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 people. Man, I mean, we co- I come with nothing, yeah. and here I am. You know, just making making it happen. And 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 if it wasn't for America. I would not have been this successful. I could not have been this successful in India, I tell you. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. yes. Like um, people, people like my age or my cousins and friends, man, they're 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 still struggling. I mean, because they're you know just there's just such so a, much competition in India. There's so many people and and there's just so little, so expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all about the you know you you dream and you can like yeah. uh, you can make do you can you can make it happen here like yeah. it's 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 that kind of opportunities you have the resources you have here it's 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 outstanding yeah and uh it's nothing like uh, that's why i i like about the united states it's like you can just go in any field land and of opportunity you can nail it yes it. absolutely yeah, land of opportunity well i think i hope that it's still like that i don't you know i mean we've got immigrants pouring in across well the the, the because they're wanting to, Border, they yeah. want something better, right? And so, yeah, but if if they if they come legally, like follow the right path, yeah, it's totally different from crossing the border 100%. and then us yeah. now, right? Me, us paying taxes, paying for their. If yeah. they get sick, they go to doctor, hospital. You know, they get treated. They they they're using our roads. Uh, the they're using our all right. resources. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you guys both U.S. citizens yet? Are you gonna be? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm almost citizen. Like I already uh, already applied for it, but uh, it he's, just he's a green card holder. You yeah. gotcha. I'm so a permanent resident. Legal, yeah. But you're like resident, working to get your citizenship. Pays his taxes yeah, that's awesome. And all that. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't even remember when I become <laughs> citizen. Long time ago. Oh, maybe eight, nine, like uh, eight twenty nine years ago, okay. eighteen years ago. That's I, awesome. I become citizen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I don't even have an Indian passport. I I, I just. It's all, <laughs> it's all American. All American. You're yeah. full American. Just the brown body. That's all left. We're gonna have to work on your accent a little bit. Because we're in East Tennessee, kind of got to work gotta on sit. just a little, y'all. just get a little bit, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you fellas. Um, all right. So you guys run some restaurants. Where did where did restaurant touring come up? Where did you start doing this? So when I came. Were you already? Did you grow up around restaurants? And well, when I came in to Indian? Jersey, no. When I came to Jersey. Uncle had a restaurant. I worked in it, kind of learned, got my green card, and and that's how I knew restaurant industry. And then when I moved to Tennessee or Johnson City, I saw there was no Indian restaurant in Johnson City, and and it was good. I mean, things weren't this expensive back then, so you know it, it was it was easier to to open. I mean, people. People were available to do things. It's not like now you call yeah. and you wait for a few weeks to have them show up. Now and back then they were there the next day to work and yeah. so, so yeah, that's, that's. So when did Sahib open in Johnson City? 2006. Okay. 2006 yeah. is when it opened. Carly and I love Indian food and we've been Thank coming you. ever I think ever since. It yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I've, I've served you many times yeah. over there. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been hanging out with you guys for a long time. Um, yeah. In a hotel to begin with, right? On the other side of town. On the other side of town. Yeah, yeah. It had a like, storage unit now. 
Is it? Yeah, it was massive. Holy smoke. Yeah, it, it is a big storage unit. Yeah. So 2006, and then so that's done pretty well. Oh, yeah. We've, but you also do some real estate stuff, too. Yeah, flip houses, rental, rental uh, apartments, you know, all kinds of stuff. You got a, yeah, you a hotel? I got, I got hotels, local hotels. Is that because you want to be in the club? Like all your buddies have hotels, and you're like, all right, I'm going to get a hotel. No, 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 no. Um, no. I had a, I had a, this, uh, this lady who used to own this hotel came to Sahib, and and she just put her head down on the bar. Uh, I was like, are you okay? She's like, I am tired. My daddy's making me run the hotel, and and I was like, well, I mean, does it not make money? She's like, it make it makes good money, but I'm tired of running it. Yeah. I'm like, well, you know, do, do you want to sell it? And and that's how it started. That's how it started. Yeah. That was a long yeah. time ago, right? That was uh, 10 years ago, right? 15. Yeah. 15? 15. It's crazy. It's been a while, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then he decided to go, hey, we're going to open a Mexican restaurant. Well, it was it was all Kartik's idea. It was all, I mean, it, and it was the best idea. Better than, I, I, I mean, I wish I had that idea before opening Sahib to be honest. <laughs> And, and, and I sometimes so like, how come I didn't have this idea? Yeah. So he came up with this idea and, and he wanted to open a, a, a nightclub and a restaurant. And, and as soon as he put the plan on the paper, I was like, I'm in, I'm in. Man. Yeah. 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 It was his, it was, it, it's his baby. More so than, we started like as a, like, you know, uh, then you go out, like I came here seven years ago and right. there were like only two, three bars in downtown area at that time. And I think uh, we got more and more population after COVID. Mm -hmm. And before oh, COVID. I remember moving here like crazy. The, yeah, there was only a few bars. And uh, it's, it's uh, and you know, I had the idea, when I, where I come from, mm -hmm. I grew up in this kind of culture where- Kind of a nightlife. Night life, yeah, belly, nightlife belly, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I think this town is missing something of that vibe, like- Sure. Which we can showcase over here. And uh, we just needed a right place and we got the right place and everything. It took us a little time to construct it and everything. Well, because it, it was done. COVID, so. Yeah. COVID yeah, it was the old Willow Tree Coffee yes. House, right? Yeah. 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 But COVID everybody on top needed a lot of renovating. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but everybody helped us like very well, like the city and everyone. Everybody. Oh, was the city was very cooperative. Very cooperative. They were, they, were, they were very helpful. Sure. They're like, very yeah, helpful. we want to make, I will say our city is very helpful. They want to Very help helpful. Oh man. They, they if it wasn't commerce. for city. Yeah. If you're looking to move a business here, they're great. Oh, they, yeah. they, they welcome you with yeah. open arms. Yeah. We got lots yeah. of resources, lots yeah. of people, yes. the commerce, chamber of commerce and it's, it's, yeah. it's all that's, that's, that's like the smooth sailing we had because of that. And, uh, when we opened Diablo and, uh, we, we were, we have to have some kind of a cuisine because my, when I talked to him about this project, I told him about the bar and he was like, you need something to have like a food, something like, mm -hmm. and I, we don't want it to do Indian mm -hmm. because, uh, it's really hard for, uh, you know, for Indian restaurant, we usually have to drive four hours to get all the spices and everything and uh, everything like you know some of the stuff comes from a really far area yeah and uh, that's what we don't wanted to do it and uh, we wanted to do have something like a food cuisine and then uh, he had his team ready he had worked with so many people he helped us like like from from the bottom he helped us to the 100 percent and uh, because of his ideas and everything we are still going good yeah. yeah when you tried to i mean i think you started the project right before covid right and it or in the middle somewhere in there it we, took we, forever we, we 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 had a plan together right around before covid yeah we, we had the location we were talking about yeah. looking at different places you were about to start we and then the start again the bam then oh yeah i remember the date as well it was 18th of march when uh when they announced it's a lockdown but still i'm um, was very happy it was nothing like india over here there were still restaurants open and uh, you can have like the drive-through services and everything on and every like you know you're not like logged inside your house yeah you had still something to do but it was a crazy time thank god we all passed mm -hmm. oh yeah. man it was crazy yeah the COVID. COVID yeah especially as a restaurant owner that's hard right? oh yeah nobody's going out and you, know, you got a buffet 
a lot of times and everybody's like, I don't know about it. Uh, it's gonna kill me if I eat it, you know. But. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have buffet for almost no. almost a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah we months, didn't have yeah. any buffet, no. Yeah, eight months, no buffet. That's my favorite thing about it. Yeah. I like getting a little and bit of everything. And then you have to have a, only limited people inside the restaurant when yeah. they opened up a bit with the, some of uh, like distance mm-hmm. that you have to maintain. But it was a crazy yeah, time. We should have been the plexiglass business here. We were gonna crush it. At that time? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we were gonna wore it out. It was everywhere. Box. Yeah, people walking around in plexiglass boxes. I have, hey, a, you go. I have a friend, or a, I don't call him friend anymore. He is in the glove business. Oh, yeah. And I called him. He, he, he could answer in my call. He's like, and then when I went to India this last, this past October, and I saw him, I said, you know, I called you around COVID time to get some gloves and all that. He was like, buddy, I tell you, man, I was, I had government regulated me and I had to make gloves for them, so I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't have time. He he was working 24/7, like he had to making gloves, like making crazy. gloves. Yeah, so yeah. Isn't it crazy the different industries that did come out of COVID? Mm-hmm. Masks, like nobody wore a mask ever. Yeah, yeah. I in the hospital, and then everybody's wearing them. Everybody it was just them. interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so masks. Um, what were some of your first jobs growing up? First jobs, like yeah. I. Had, I, I used to manage my, my dad's business back there. Really? He has like a hospitality business. Okay. He's like more, mostly yeah. like a So you've been around right it all the time. Yes, but it's totally different. What yeah. you do over here and what you do over there is totally different. Gotcha. And uh, when I came over, you have to learn like from, from ground zero, like right? yeah. how you start and everything. I think that what helps me, uh, like what I did, what he showed me because he was, he was not, not like, here you go, you have to go from the top. No, you have to learn from the from of course, the, from yeah, the level same. one. Work your way so up to that. That's where you know how to yeah, do it all. Yeah, because and you're not afraid I, to do it all. That makes sense to me now. And the like, time you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but 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 you, you know, then you have start. Oh, I know this. I I did this already. Yeah. Oh yes, I, I I he taught me about this too. Mm-hmm. So yes, those things when come up on my table, I was like, yeah, I know this. I'll I'm prepared it. for Let's it. Go. Yeah. What was your first job, Dick? Oh, I at the restaurant. Bus In the restaurant, bus restaurant, restaurant, and then I. I did all kinds of jobs, pizza hut delivery, McDonald's. Oh man, I had my own vegetable business um, back in uh, um, Jersey. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I worked in a Mexican restaurant there. Um, yeah, I worked like three, four different. So I've always been around the restaurant always, business, food yeah. business, delivery. Yeah, yeah. You're a hustler. Drove a, <laughs> I, I was. I don't know if I'm a hustler. Uh, you're still now. a hustler. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, where did you catch the hustler vibe? Like, you know, just hardworking. Did you get that from your well, dad? Well, I, I had no way back. I mean, I, I, I came with 65 bucks in my pocket and that's it. You know, daddy was like, Make, hey, if you go, you're on your own. You know, this is it. And, and started hustling. How old were you? 16. So you left India at 16, 16. with 65 bucks in your pocket. That's your dad right. was probably saying, stay. Well, Daddy had no opinion. He he was like, well, you know, it's up to you. You want to go? I don't stop you, but this is all I have, you know. And there's no way back if you go. Maybe he was saying, trying to like, he'll do something if 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 he knows he can fall back, he won't he, you know, right. he won't do it. But then, then I was like, well, no way back, buddy. Let's just, I got to do it gotta every day. You're like, kind of going, all right, it, it's work. up to me. I remember there were times I was working 18, 19, 20 hours a day just to pay that expensive rent. rent, on rent one bedroom, on the 1100. One bedroom and, yeah. and then pay car insurance was like 272 bucks liability because I was young, you know, so it, everything was, you had to work, 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 pay those. And then as soon as I saw Johnson City, it's like, man, insurance 50, 60 bucks. And, <laughs> you know, the apartment rent is three. It's, I'm moving here. I'm moving here. <laughs> now it's changed a little bit, <laughs> like in 26 years. But yeah, yeah it's, it's changed it's, quite a bit. It's yeah. changed quite a bit. It's crazy what but things yeah. cost nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've done all kinds of odd jobs just to yeah. get to where, you know. You know what I mean? When did you say, hey, I'm ready to, I want to open my own restaurant? Like, when were you, was that in Jersey? You were like, I like this industry. I want to, I think well, I can Well, in, in about 2004, end to 2005, I started looking for, you know, other pro like do my own like i mean i had a little small vegetable business like i would get up three in the morning go buy my vegetables or for the local people and deliver and make you know a little bit and and i was kind of tired of getting up three in the morning and, uh, you know and 
and I was, I had, you know, because I was working so hard, so I had funds saved. Yeah. Young kid, today's generation, I, I don't know how today's generation think about money, but when I was 23, I had $100,000 saved. I worked that much. One more time. 23, I had $100,000 saved. $100,000 saved at 23. At That's pretty strong. That so, is like, yeah. but you know. But I work, 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 like seven days, 20 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours. And if you're working that much, you don't have time to spend yeah. it. And, and so that's when I was like, I looked at my, I was like, okay, I think, I think, I think this will make me open my own business. So that's when I found the old Sahib location here and then opened my place. What brought you to Johnson City? Like, what was the connection there? Um, you know, one of my uncles had a restaurant in Kingsport, Sitar. Oh, okay. Came to see him gotcha. and then end up in Johnson City. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. How many uncles do you have? <laughs> <laughs> 70. A few. <laughs> Got but, a few uncles. Uh, but yeah, that was, uh, that man, that worked hard, hard back then. Hard working. No, not now, not now. Yeah. Take it a little easy. Yeah. yeah. Like what's, just, what's something you wish you'd known um, in your career that you know now that you wish you'd known when you started? Oh, maybe somebody man. listening. Real estate. Real estate. If I knew real estate back then, Watch I mean, out. I'm still doing great, but if I knew real estate back then, man, it, in 08, 9, 10, we had, when we had that crash, I wish I had bought more. Not like, at all, yeah. A lot more than, than what, but hey, it's whatever, wherever I, wherever I am, I'm happy. That's right. You know, you, know, you can't look you know, back and go, I wish I had done it differently. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, so you wish you'd gotten into real estate? How about you? Oh, I wish if I go back in time, I can buy some Bitcoins though. Oh. But Bitcoin, yeah. <laughs> Cardiac's like in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. you, this is the problem with, you know, my generation, internet. You cannot sure. save $100,000 by the 23 because of the internet. They have so many options, like you want to invest something here and there. You yeah. could. Yeah. yeah. You just chose to spend it on different yeah, things. Yeah, it's just like, you know, there's so many things. There it are just, lots of things. Yeah. Like, but yeah, like Vic was singularly focused. He's like, I'm just keeping it in the bank. Yeah, that's, no that's, that's the key, to be honest, like. If, right. A little if, bit. Yeah. Every day. Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> yeah. Or just work 20 or 40 hours a day so you don't have to. It's you just you like, don't have time to spend it. That's yeah. right. You're working 18, 20 hours a day. You don't have time to spend it. That's right. That's but, exactly you know, right. working hard is the key. Yes. Like, uh, I work too, like six six days, 10 hours straight. Oh, he's worked, he's worked it's hard. It's just like now. I, he still does. He still Like, like he's now still, I know. Like, you know. I mean, four in the morning, I call and he's. I'm I'm here. We're closing. We're, we're cleaning. You know, <laughs> everybody left at three. Now we're cleaning. So yeah, yeah. Well, they work hard. They work hard. Yeah. Well, that was one of my next ones. What's some of the difficult stuff? Like I guess COVID, obviously. But what else is difficult in your industry? That oh, it's it's everything. It's it's the competition. It's everybody uh, coming with new ideas every day. And this restaurant industry, it's like it's the flavor. Like if how you have to come up with something new mm -hmm. every three, four months or like uh, something like uh, you have to be particular on your taste and everything, like what you are giving people. Consistency. Like, consistency and everything. Yeah. Quality. But I, I, you know, I, my, my word to today's, today's generation and people who are working in every day or restaurant business or whatever business they're trying to run, you know, life, you'll, you'll have challenges and, and, we just have to overcome and work hard mm -hmm. and just, you know, and just keep moving forward. Keep moving I mean, forward. I've had so much. Keep working you know, hard. Uh, so many difficulties, you know, chefs quitting on you, people not showing up. And I mean, you just, if you show up every day and, and try to, you know, get things done and life, life is not easy, but yeah. if you, if you work hard and you, you're focused. It's the easiest thing. You know? Right. So, it can be. Right. What you focus be. on. Yeah. So you can focus and, and on I all the bad stuff going I on. I love. Yeah. I mean, I love how Diablo's vibe, and I know it's late hours, hard working, and but hey, at the end of the day, when we see people, that many people love us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. At, at that point, we're not not even counting how much money we're making. But when we see that many people loving us, man, it's the best thing, and yeah. we just go on and on and on. Yeah. Let's talk about. about Talk about um, Sahib a little bit more, just because we don't have many Indian restaurants around, right? No, so no. for people ha listening, maybe who are like, I don't know 
well, if I want to go to an Indian restaurant, I've never, I've never tried it. You know, what would you tell them, Vic? Well, um, we gotta, we gotta, we all gotta try new things. Sure. I mean, I'm all about trying new things. Okay. Yeah. And 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 people who have never tried, and a lot of people have misconception that that it's it's spicy. It is not. Right. You There's know, some. We don't make yeah. it spicy. It's flavored. Mm-hmm. Right? And and that's why I still do buffet even today because I want people who've never tried it come try the buffet. I mean, how hands down, Carly and I love the buffet. It's like the, one of the best things out there. We we because we love all the different flavors. And we went one night, and I was like, I'm never coming back for dinner. Sorry, I'm not. Saying, I'm just telling you that, Miss, because I didn't know exactly what I was ordering, and like I want, and I got something that was fantastic, but I was like, oh. I wanted some of the other, you know, like you don't get a lot. You like the, the variety, other. right? Right. I yeah. like the variety. If we had come with a big, you know, we should have come with a big group and we could have just shared everything. But um, the buffet, if you're the want buffet, to ex- yeah, the, experiment, I mean, like just try something that's fantastic. And I have a lot of people who who would not come and try, and once they tried tried right. the buffet, they're hooked. They yeah, yeah, every right. week. They love it. Yeah. I mean, we have all bread, seafood, chicken, lamb. All, I mean, all kinds of stuff, mild Salad, spices, yeah. salads, yeah. and and that that I think I think buffet is still kind of yeah. What's your favorite dish on the buffet? Oh, I love tikka masala. Yeah. Chicken tikka masala, that's my favorite yeah. all the time. I mean, just I, I, I like, like butter chicken. Like, like uh, butter chicken. Yeah. I like the chili chicken. Person. Chili chicken's pretty good. Chili chicken, no, yeah, it's, it's so called chili chicken, but it's not spicy. It's not it's super just, spicy. It's yeah. kind of a sweet chili spicy. Sweet chili spicy. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I was gonna see if you can cut the. Chicken Marsala chicken, just a, like one more time, because it's a little. <laughs> they're, no, they're big chunks, and you're like, I have to kind of work. So if you just you make it smaller, dice it just a touch. That's just my two cents. You didn't ask for it, but hey, it might be on the buffet now. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite thing on the line? On but, the buffet, but, butter. I love sock paneer. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a yeah, I like the spinach dish. It's, it's, and I like the naan with it. Yep. And, I love uh, sorry, get jasmine rice. Yeah. Put the spinach on and there. And whenever my meal is over, here, and then I, I like to take four or five again. gulab jamun balls. Those yeah. sweet and those are good. Have, oh my god, those are addicting. Yeah. My son Christian loves those things. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's so good. Okay, let's talk about Diablo, your restaurant. Where'd you get the name? Oh, so the name came comes from it's it's the spicy like it's the spice. It's something like uh, it's not just only use this name by me there's some other restaurants as well but it's some uh, they have like southern and western in western if you go to like western culture you'll see a lot of like the names of the restaurants uh-huh. from the from the chilies they have so diablo is something like the spices like, spicy like chili. something different something okay. like it's that's where, where i come with the name like gotcha. and it's something like different like you know like diablo like that yeah. let's go let's go when i go gym or supermarket people see that oh you own diablo oh i want that i, I want to go there for my 21st or i went to diablo yeah. for my 21st we yeah. had a great time so, and, and it is and people have told me that it is the spot what people are talking about these days it's, that. it's the spot that's cool yeah. that's why we're here we got you on the podcast talk about it see <laughs> mitch is no doubt he's, <laughs> he's like scheduling him rest are scheduling people that know what's going on um, all right, so talk about your restaurant. Where exactly is Diablo located? It's at uh, 216 East Main Street. It's yep. just like... Right in the heart of downtown. Heart of downtown, yeah. It's in a great location. Great location. Yeah. Oh, location, location, location. It does. The key to business, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We need to open a parking garage. Parking garage, parking, parking garage. garage, 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 garage. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so what kind of cuisine is Diablo? It's a Mexican cuisine, but most of our uh, menu items are from West culture and the birria tacos or the birria menu that we have, it's a must try. If you haven't tried, uh, if you haven't been to a, like a Mexican restaurant mm-hmm. that doesn't have birria, try this one. Okay. You will yeah. not regret it. I, I'm looking forward to trying it. Mitch was talking before the podcast. He was like, have you had birria tacos? I was like, no. It's not just the tacos. We have quesadillas. We have birria bowl, ramen, burrito, pizza. You got it all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Go through the menu. Talk about like if we came in, what would you start us out with? I would I would start you with a a table swipe guacamole Mm -hmm. and you can have our very special. You got the little cart that comes up and you make it right there. We can do that, too. But if you want something, uh, we have different kinds of guacamole. We have if you want table side, we can do table side. If you want uh, something like our house special we can get that too 
and we will start with a specialized margarita too. Oh, there you like go. Uh, uh, my my bar manager Donald, he's really great at the margaritas and micheladas. Okay. And uh, if you want to try. No, after that, I would give you a birria ramen uh -huh. or something. If it's a chilly weather out there, so you will like that swoopy stuff oh, yeah, with good. some ramen noodles in it. And if you want something great, try the birria pizza or the tacos. It's all-time favorite. Gotcha. That's cool. And then talk about, like, because you were talking about nightlife is a big part of yes. the restaurant. And you were saying second level, like, is it, tell me about this. Is, so the nightlife, so on Friday nights, we have a Latino night. It's for the since it's a Mexican restaurant yeah. and we want to promote this culture a lot and yeah. Latino event is one of the most popping event we have. I think we are we the got, only one doing it in, we got a in large the Johnson Latino City. Population. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there are a lot of... Lot and of uh, uh, which is cool. Saturday we have a hip hop top 40 night and uh, it's it's mostly like a soul out event for Saturday night. It's, it's I love Saturday nights, but it's... It's something like, you know, uh, with some nice music and uh, nice atmosphere, nice drinks where you don't have to, like, you know, struggle for getting one drink. Right. Like, that's why we have a very big bar and I have four bartenders or three bartenders always working at the same time. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's, that's the thing. Like, if you, I want you to experience it. Yeah. And uh, feel it. So dinner is from... Seven, dinner the, five to ten five, five to, to ten nine on nine the weekend and then it starts picking up a little bit more with the night club yes. scene kind of so feeling. club scene so what happened is when we open start the, turning the table like do you do the time yes, tables yes big? yes 9 30 we have a transition so we close the kitchen by 9 15 on friday and saturdays okay. but mostly uh other than days we are open till 10. gotcha and uh after 9 30 we have a transition we take the tables in the storage area and makes it like a pretty spacious space where people can dance and enjoy, have a great time, have some high top tables where you can sit down, chit chat. But, yeah. And we have a booth side area as well. Uh, we have two halls. So if you want like some kind of a conversation and if you think it's too loud, you can go into the other hall and still enjoy the same thing with some That's chat. Cool. Yeah. How late do you guys stay open on Friday and Saturday? Uh, our last uh, drink call is at 2.45 and by three we, we be close. That's late. <laughs> or very early. Those old people. We're yeah. getting up. Like Vic and I are getting up <laughs> in an four, hour. Four yeah. <laughs> it's it's late, but but it's it's packed. Yeah. The main street is packed by by two. If you see at two forty five, you will not see people at six p.m. at that that many. That when you mean? see it at two forty five, that's crazy. In the morning. I go to bed around nine thirty ten. <laughs> I'm a ten o'clock guy. Ten ish. Yeah. And, and, and I about bed midnight, I will get a call from a friend. Hey, Where I can at? get in. Can you get me in? <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> right. Just no, no. <laughs> Denied. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, well, what do you guys, what do you see like the future of Diablo? What do you feel like is going to happen? Uh, the, the, future the future is uh, right now, it's just going to be like Sahib, like one of a kind, but uh, expanding. We Diablo. are thinking, we're, we're seriously thinking of expanding and maybe having a branch in Bristol or Knoxville or whatever. We're, we're just, we're, st it's still in the talks. Yes. Nothing yeah. set on right. stone, but we're still talking to, you know, kind of yeah. grow. Second location. Second yes. Location. But it's a little too soon. Um, we just want to. Because I like to give about a couple of years to visit before yeah. we start branching yeah. out. Type that's why. So Asheville, I don't know. I mean, we'll, yeah. We'll see. And it's, it's Karthik. As soon as yeah, he no. says he's ready. It's just. Um, I'm, I'm following. I'm, I mean, it's his dream, his baby. I'm I'm just right behind him, you know, because because he's he's the mastermind. I I just go with the people suggestions. I've been getting so many like people come in to me like, hey, you should open something in Bristol. You should open something in Knoxville. There you go. Like uh, we want something like this happening place. I was like, yeah, yeah. It's just like it's so much of a work. Like seriously, like uh, it's hard. But yes, maybe in future we have plans. We'll do something like that. And uh, right now we're just focusing on this one and uh, trying to get more and more newer things coming up. Yeah. Which, uh, which, which, you know, we always have to be a wow factor in it. And you will, you will see that in coming months yeah. as well. Yeah, you gotta have. We have plans for summer and everything, and we are trying to have our patio side open. Let's see how long. Uh, yeah, big night on uh, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yeah. We are big completing night. one big year night. anniversary as well. That'll be on right Cinco de Mayo. One year, May 5th, because that's May 5th. the day we opened. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Last year we didn't have 
So a lot of people <laughs> if we had a didn't BYOB. like it. Cinco de Mayo, no margarita. Yeah. Uh, and then no cerveza. So th- no, no cerveza. cerveza. <laughs> but this, uh, we having a whole Latino weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Cinco de Mayo. And uh, it's going to be a whole festival at the oh, Diablo. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, do you have any other restaurant ideas in your all's brains that you're thinking about putting out there? Well, I'm, I'm with him now. I mean, he, whatever he says. Whatever he I'm, says. I'm, I'm it's just, yes, we have plans for expanding, but uh, yeah. We, not like it enough. You're not, like, not, oh, not, not, not like uh, uh, all, I don't know, Indonesian <laughs> restaurants. Some, I don't know. You know, no, yeah. No, no. Nothing else. Nothing Currently. Which Currently, we'll talk yeah. about. I got it. I got it. I like it. I like it. Well, you suggested something. I'll find something. Yeah, because I think we've got people who are looking, moving here too, and asking for different things. I'll have to do a little survey and see what are we missing in Johnson City, and that's what you got to. You know, it, there's no Ethiopian restaurant. Have you ever had Ethiopian food? Yes, it's delicious. Oh man, it is excellent. It is excellent. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. That's a good option. Um, yeah, I still won't miss um, Babette's, the beignet place. I don't think they're back open yet. Which one? Babette's, like they make these little beignets. They're like uh, from Cafe Du Monde. If you're ever in uh, New Orleans, they, there's this restaurant called Cafe Du Monde, and my son was just there. And they make um, they're like little puffy bread dough balls, almost kind of like the, the but the, they're hollow yeah, yeah. because they hit they're flat and they throw them in the in the fryer and a poof, and then they cover them in uh, powdered sugar. Oh, they're so good! Oh. And they're open 24 hours, seven days a week in in uh, New Orleans, and they are printing money down there. It's unbelievable. So we need one of those. Yeah. If you want to get that going, I'll, I'll, I'm in. I'm, I'm happy <laughs> with that. Um, so Uncle Vic's inspiring you. Yes. Keeping hel- uh, helping you grow up. Now, who are you mentoring? Who's coming up? Because um, you got responsibility just, now, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, you pass still, it still learning. Okay. Still learning. Let me, let me. Uh, get old like Vic. Yeah. No, not that, not <laughs> old. Let me have something like a. Uh, uh, like you know, I think we're the same age. The same age. <laughs> then he will come up to me and tell me, "Yes, now, now you're ready. Now you're ready." And here's little card. Ticket. Then, then probably yes. If I get an opportunity, we'll, we'll. Yeah, because you got to pay it forward. Absolutely, I will tell the same. It's been uncle to uncle to uncle now. I'm grateful to be honest. Yes, blessed. Okay. Thank you, Abba. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Um, what didn't I ask you about the business, the restaurant stuff that we should have talked about? Mm. Well, we want people to come and try. Of course. And yep. people who've never tried Indian, you know, come on over, try the buffet. Yeah, and, super and, good. And, and they'll love it. And then yeah. keep coming back. And if you mention the podcast, Vic will give you 10% off. 10%. Well, <laughs> I'll, if you, yeah, I'll do 10%. Yeah. Mention Perfect. the podcast, yeah. I'll give you 10%. 10%. Look at that. Diablo, 10%. Get them in there. Yes. Come on, people. Come try. Come try. Come try. And uh, if you can't come in the evening or in the lunch, try the nightlife. Yeah, for lunch too. You're open for. Yeah, we are open 11 to 10 every day. It's just only Friday, Saturday we close at 9:30. Gotcha. Just for one hour of transition. So nightlife starts at 10:30. Except Mondays, except. Except Mondays we're closed. Yes. Are you guys ready for some hard questions? Yeah, of course. What's your favorite restaurant that's not yours? My favorite is it's. Uh, been breathing deeper. <laughs> I would say uh, the just because of the space and everything, and the location, I like the Kickback Jacks a lot. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. You like Kickback Jacks. Kickback Ooh. Jacks. What do you think, Big? Mine. I like the label. Oh yeah. Raphael, you know. Oh Raphael. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he's a good like, dude. He's yeah. been on here. He was one of the first guests. Label was on. my actually my first choice, but uh, I wanted Kickback Jack just because of the, the house copy atmosphere. Yeah. atmosphere. Like, Are you gonna yes. put out some TVs on yeah. the patio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just it. more like like a sports bar, but you can turn into wonders. I don't know why they're yeah. not doing. That. Gotcha. Um, what do you like to do for fun when you're not working 18 hours a day in Johnson City? For our people listening, like what's some fun stuff to do? Oh, I really like that the Willow Spring Park. Live near there. I have two dogs. I take them to the dog park. I chill there with the people a lot, and uh, sometimes we play cricket. Oh yeah! And these days they are playing pickleball. Oh no, 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 we I've play. Been playing a lot of pickleball lately. Yeah. Oh, I'm so addicted to it. <laughs> I mean, I can. It's it, a lot of fun. It, it, yeah. Oh yes. Buddies of mine, we we text. We go pick. Okay, pickleball. let's go, let's go, and then and we, miss, we skip our dinner, fine. We skip yeah. our lunch, we're fine. We'll just keep playing. Playing. And I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. 
pickleball is taking off. I had one lady call me and she's like, I just want to be near a pickleball court. Like if that's one, I said, what do you want to find in your house? Well, bedroom, blah, blah, blah. But it's got to be near a pickleball court. <laughs> it gets on the ridge where we live. Yeah. They've marked the tennis court. To so like you can play on that. We could play. So we play pretty much every day over there. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, where are you going to go get your, where's a good place for a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger, like uh, Do you eat cheeseburgers? I I have a chicken burger, though. Like, Are you I got like, one at Diablo? Yes. Okay. I love, yeah, we have a cheeseburger, too, over there, too, yeah. like, if you want a cheeseburger. Like, if you're I'm not gonna, at Diablo, I have a Diablo you, spicy burger. Where like, are you going to get your cheeseburger? The thing is, I would go to uh, Label, for sure. Yeah, Label. Label's mine. Yeah. Number one. You guys Pals fans? You ever go to Pals? No. Like, uh, I like Drive Chick-fil-A, a though. Times. Long time ago, but I'm, I'm more of a label. Let's sit down. Yes. Yeah, Knife and fork yeah. and burger kind of guy. Yeah. It's a little fancy. I like it. Um, <laughs> my kids love Chick fil A. So we go yes. to Chick fil A yeah, all the time. Fast food, Chick fil A, daddy's yes. Chick fil A. It's so good. good. And, and you know, it, 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 if I think of a sandwich or a cheeseburger, or my car automatically goes to Chick fil A. <laughs> It's like set up because kids taken me there so many times. You're like, just automatic. Yeah. Oh, I'm already here. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you guys go for pizza? I uh, like Main Street pizza. Main a Street lot. is good. Main Street. You know there used to be scratch pizza. Here. I know it was yeah. so. Oh good. man, John, John. Uh, yeah, forgot okay. his last name. Yeah. John. And, he passed away. Uh, he passed away. Yeah. Fishing yeah. accident. Jamie. Yeah. yeah, John and Jamie. They used to make the. Oh, best. it was so good. I would. I, the wood fire, I mean, just it was special. I mean, he would throw extra. They have a truss. Did you get a yes, truss? Yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. John. This might be. He made like a curry pizza. Oh, like yeah. All kinds of different stuff. Yeah, it curry was so paste good. on it. Yeah. You should open up to scratch again. Sitting up there not doing anything. Yeah. Well, well I mean, I, I don't we'll know. We'll talk about it. We'll find out. Yeah, we got some college yeah, kids. Got I got some college <laughs> kids. I got a college kid soon that will be wanting to work so we can get him a job there. Um, what are you guys just like? What's up? Fired up. Like, I'm like, oh, let's go. It's go time. Where gets you just jumping out of bed? Like, I'm going to go take on the world. What does that do for you? What, what's that for you, Clarky? Uh, It's like take on the world. Just like just woke up and let's let's get it. Yeah. Like, uh, what's that look for like for you? Like anything like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Hoverball. Like, yeah, of course. Imagine. <laughs> Huh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, it was awesome talking to you guys. I'm excited to Thank come you. check out Diablo. I'm sorry I haven't been there. Please, Please forgive me, Carly, and I'll come check it out. We've been to Sahib a hundred times. We're your neighbors. Probably a thousand times. We are, yeah. <laughs> we are somewhere neighbors. It's right over here. We're, we're recording the podcast. We're just close. Um, yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing how you do and where you guys go. I, it, everything you all do is just... It's a lot of fun to come Thank be a part you. of it. You feel very welcome. I feel very appreciated. We're, yeah, like we're brothers, and it's fun to yes. just be a part of yes. it. So Thank, thank you. you very much for what you guys do. Thanks for bringing awesome cuisine to our area. That's not, you know, we don't have it. Just thank you for being supportive, thank. especially at Sahib, all the time. Well, thank, you, thank you, thank you. Our yeah. pleasure. Thank you for yeah. feeding us wonderful food. It's a, we try. It's a win-win, win-win for both. Yes. situation thank you. for sure. And thank you guys listening and watching on the podcast. Um, I enjoyed the conversation. I hope you guys did. I can't wait for you all to come try Diablo and Sahib and, and stretch it. Just reach out, try it. It's going it, to, yeah, we promise you won't um, be disappointed. And if you want, you're listening on the airwaves somewhere all across the country, maybe New Jersey, yeah. maybe you're in New Delhi. I don't yeah. know, but we would love for you to move here. and We'd love to help you do that, help you invest in real estate. We manage your property. We can help you build wealth there. We, Johnson City is just hopping. And it so is hopping. A lot it's of a great spot moving. to yes, move to. Yes, so come thank on. Thank you. So come on. Until next time, have a great afternoon. Have a great day.